Okay. Wow. There's a lot to unpack there. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, the whole Vidoc was 30 minutes, so that's a good 30 minutes of info. I'm not going to be able to go over everything myself, but I do recommend you start checking out people's videos if you want to know more about the Witch Queen. Another fun fact, by the way, uh, there's been a million pre-orders of the Witch Queen, so people are looking forward to this uh, expansion in next seasons. Especially Season of the Risen, where we have uh, Keitel and Crow and Saladin and everybody involved. I think it's also involved with Witch Queen. And, like, they're both, like, they both synergize with each other as well, so it kind of makes sense. Let, let me just play this here uh, without the volume and, like, speed up a bit. So, like, already you can see, like, you know, uh, Mars. Obviously, there's going to be a good cutscene of it. It looks so cool. But it's really cool to see, like, these cutscenes. They look different. They don't look like the previous cutscenes we've had in uh, prior expansions. Now, I would talk about more of what they're talking about, but I'll, I'll be real. I'm just here for the visuals. I'm very, like, stupid when it comes to taking in information. So just look at things in and out. Like, this play, uh, this place, place, you can see a good screenshot of Sabathun just right there. Here we have uh, what looks to be another cutscene. This is what I was on about with everyone here. Your Guardian, Ikora, Shax. I think Anna Brace is right there. Same 14s of all those at the desk. I'm here to protect humanity. It looks like I, uh, they did say Akora would have uh, play more of a part in the Witch Queen, so it's good to see that she's actually, like... Especially because there was one part where she was, like, walking out with us, which was really cool to see. If we go back just there a second, it looks like Ikora is going through something. She's either in a vision or she literally just went to the EDZ to look at the sh A Shared of the Traveler, because that kind of gives me vibes as a Shared of the Traveler. I don't know why. In front of us and what's lurking just underneath... Never mind, it mightn't be. I actually completely forgot. Um, these are worm gods. Why they're here is beyond me. Unless we're getting, like, a kind of, like, um, a story by Akora somehow knowing, like, what the, um, or the hive's, uh, background is before they came to Saul. This doesn't look like anything new. This actually looks like a, um, Nessus Law Sector. Now, why do they include a random... Nessus Law Sector, don't know. Now, can we talk about as well in this cutscene, like how like nice Mars looks, but how concerning all this looks, that there's just blue cracks emanating from Mars. And Season of the Risen is chapter one, the beginning of the And that was Season of the Risen, by the way. And yes, I do have the video sped up. I, I can't like watch it at normal speed again. Look, maybe this could be a part of like people coming back to Mars or something, but again, I doubt they're really gonna put all of Mars in. I know in the last reaction video, I said like, oh look, it's Mars confirmed to be in, but People said it's probably just for the um, weapon crafting section. It's probably not going to be for actual ex actual exploring. It's probably just going to be for this cutscene. She's not just. See, I was just about to say right here. I think they're teasing um, Sabathun's extraction, like with this. So if you just watch real quick. Because this is all like the awoken place, and it looks like the Techians are there with uh, Sabathun's crystal that you can just see the bottom of. Yeah, you can see the top of Sabathun's head more in that, so yeah. So here's a good um, shot of just like all the characters together. So yeah, as I was saying, we have Saladin, Eris, Saint, Anna, and obviously that's our guardian. Her throne world is a manifestation of Sabathun's own personality, which is in Witch Queen going through a transformation. Through and people were theorizing this as well. The reason why. Uh, Sabathun's throne world on top like looks so bright is because like she's transforming the whole like her whole throne world to be more light based and like all the old part is all like the darkness kind of themed version of her throne world before obviously the transformation started it's great. yeah if we just look at that again real quick like that gives me like dreadnought vibes like no other business man and obviously that's like a dreaming city kind of portal here um it's if we move on to here though this is interesting this is what I pointed out now I was saying maybe and potentially we could have multiple pyramids in Sabathun's throne world because this one doesn't look broken like the other one did beforehand. That's another thing I actually wanted to look at, but I was watching the video, so I didn't want to pause it. It's not really what it seems. It's... It looks like there's a fight going on in here, which is probably our like, guardians fighting against the hive. Again, just a little thing I thought I'd point out. It's very unsettling. I love the thrall the thing that they do. What's really going to be exciting for players is that they're going to get... This is also another cool shot. This is really cool to see. So here's a clear view of the board if anybody wants to look at it. We're building the Definitively Destiny campaign, so leaning into the journey you can find in exotic missions or uh, the mechanics you might find in a dungeon. So yeah, what they just said there about the mechanics is interesting as well. It's cool to see if they're going to actually like put a lot of effort in the campaign. 
Right. So, so yeah, what we have here is the Enclave. This is the weapons crafting thing. And we also have Mars underneath it, which basically confirms that we're not going to be... Um, we're just not going to be getting Mars back itself. If it's going to be already in Sabathun's throne world. But an interesting thing to point out is uh, we're looking at a map of Sabathun's throne world. So as we... I'm sorry, but the first name for this place, man, Quagmire. By the way, might I say this image looks really cool. So we got rendezvous with the contact. That's interesting. Not sure I'll ever get used to seeing ghosts serving the hive. This is the part I was like, ooh, this looks cool. So this is like cabal-like ships just popping in now, which I'm assuming is all Kytel stuff, or Kytel ships. This yoke looked interesting as well. And yet, what I pointed out here, this is like, the other side of this is where, um, I think, Cade 6 was. So it's cool to see, like, Crow in his position. Oh, and another interesting note uh, here for Destiny Politics is Kytel herself is actually in the tower. So it looks like the relations between Guardians and the Cabal have actually grown a, a lot since, like, Season of the Chosen, which is good to see, obviously. This is a cool cutscene. I love that big gun. That just, that's just looming over them on Mars. But it looks like uh, Kytel's going to cause something. So this looks like a Scion trying to do something with... Well, might be a Hive Guardian? It kind of looks like an Exo to me from here. And this looks like the kind of Deepstone Crypty as well. So I wonder if like the Scions are going to have a part in the season as well, in Season of the Risen. And yeah, as you can see, the, the, there's a bubble over this Hive and to try to do so. Now, this is a cool looking area. That thing that Hive just did there looked interesting. Yeah, what he's doing with this. That actually kind of looks like Celestial Nighthawk with like three eyes, I'm not going to lie. When that character casts, it does very similar things by his player, like, the Arc Wizard. I like as well how they say casts, but doesn't mention what the actual name of the super is. And, like, it does look a bit like Blade Barrage, but there is a bit of a difference to the animation for it, which is weirdly cool. And then this wizard also is doing something slightly different. A ghost is your companion, and now suddenly you have one in your hand, and you're about to crush it. The first time this happens... You're like looking at your hand like I can't believe what I'm doing. This is a cool detail. That's a cool detail for people who play this expansion or mission for the first time. I actually really like that. Yeah, my I say this glade looks really cool. I don't know if that if that's its default look or if it just has a shader on or if it's even legendary, but it's really cool looking. So yeah, I, I just wanted to pause here just to look at this because it, it just looks cool, like just seeing the actual like enclave itself. And oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to pause at. So yeah, it looks like it literally brings up like a collections tab looking kind of menu. And oh yeah, might I also mention that these are two different um, seasons. So this must be season of the Chosen's icon. And then obviously this is uh, the Witch Queen icon. Interesting enough, it has all rifles, bows, pulse, scouts, sidearms and submachine guns. And then we'll see later for the special that it had a few options there as well. So it doesn't look like it's going to be just like, you know, two weapons quite literally that you can do. And then all the exotic... Uh, other exotics themselves are added into Witch King. It looks like they're actually going to have a good choice of weapons to choose from for now. And now we have another two. Again, there's the symbols. We have fusions, glaives, grenade, shotgun, and sniper rifles. So, again, we have a variety to go from. Now, this is also really interesting. So we have this, and then we got something called neutral element. And it looks like it doesn't cost that much. And they put it into uh, here. So it looks like it, we might actually be able to customize them a lot more than we really think we can. Before we even go past here, we can see what looks to be um, some perks that have this little yellow arrow yoke. I have no clue what that is, but maybe it costs less to socket. Maybe it's like increased its value or something when you put it in this like crafting uh, way. It's just interesting to point out because also we have uh, the Enigma with like a little orange icon on the bottom, which probably just means it's like a uh, shaped weapon. Oh, and might I also point out that these are some of the perks it can get, which is one, two, three, four, five. So we got five total perks, and then we also got like trackers as well, which are now just built into every weapon. There's some lore if you want to read it. There's also like the level system and so on and so forth. And we have here adaptive glaive, hybrid melee slash range uh, pole arm, 
with a frontal shield. Generate energy on dealing range damage. So you press LT to raise shield, depleting energy over time. And you press RB, kinetic melee. Now, may I also note that as well? We got a lot of different materials just to finalize this exotic. So, yeah, and then we got a new perk there as well. We got resonant alloy, the neutral element again, uh, ascended alloy, and ruinous element before the weapon is crafted. So here's some of the weapons. So some of these are obviously returning. That's returning. That's returning. Uh, that's returning. I think they're put. That's like Vanguard and um, Gambit uh, themed as well because of the colors. Then we come around and we see maybe what's a seasonal weapon. We see a crucible weapon. And then we see a bow, which might also be a seasonal weapon as well. It's got Cabal stuff on it, so it's more likely to be a seasonal weapon than anything else just like this uh, grenade launcher too we got a fusion i think that's a i can't remember the name of it but i think that's just returning we got a hand cannon here which is vice as well i think it's about 50 new weapons 50 new weapons compared to the, like what seven weapons maybe plus four because of the uh, season of hunt that's so much more weapons and we got like everything sunset last time so it's so nice to just see this big boost we're as guardians we're gonna have such a big high from just playing the witch queen after thinking about beyond light honestly and this is another thing i want to pause out because this just looks cool but yeah it's so cool to finally see this menu like fully like this like actually active as well so obviously we have here a void fragment and we have aspects and abilities so they haven't changed the naming scheme too much but I will note that they've also got little nodes under here as well which i'm assuming one of these is going to be like void walker or, yes, it is Voidwalker. I'm assuming one of these is going to be Nova Warp. But why is there another one active? I don't know. Like, to be fair, with the introduction to anybody being able to use suppressor grenades, that's going to be just like mayhem in Mayhem Crucible itself. But it's also going to be mayhem for the like Hive Guardians. They're just going to see us come along and be like, ha, we got the light, we're going to pop it on you. And they pop it and then you just throw a suppressor grenade and then they're just... Oh, well, I guess my super's down now. Might I mention, that is really cool. How you can do a slab now with a smoke grenade to get to someone. There have been times when I played as a hunter, and we were playing, like, a nightfall. And, like, I had to throw my grenade to hide my friends. Uh, but get myself killed in the process. I just wanted to pause here and have a good look. To be fair, that does look like the old part of Mars. That kind of building-like. You never know, though, but... Unless, like, the Enclave itself is actually a separate area and we are getting a part of Mars. But, again, I really doubt it. I think this is just for, like, the mission. But, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Guardian, so much for watching this video. And I'll see you probably in the Witch Queen at this point.